Christmas. They were inside a car parked in a closed garage on Fairfield Avenue. Both of the victims immigrated from Burma, and sources say they hadn't been here long. News Channel 15's Janice Allen has been exploring whether their culture could have kept them from knowing that they were in danger. Well, Mark and Heather, friends and family say they simply did not know. Most Burmese refugees don't have cars or garages, so it's possible they don't realize carbon monoxide can be deadly. In fact, the sister of one of those victims says she's only learned that now the hard way. Pictures and memories are all that 22-year-old Muda has left of her sister, 17-year-old A. Muda. She was found dead inside a garage along Fairfield Avenue Saturday. The last time we saw her was Thursday night, the, the 24th. The teen told her family she was going to a friend's house. She was found inside a parked car with that friend, an 18-year-old boy who's also Burmese. Both were discovered inside his closed garage, dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. I don't want to believe it. I was like, oh, this is a dream, and I kept telling myself. It's been hard for the family to accept and tough for Burmese advocates to deal with, too. Carbon monoxide is a danger most grow up learning about, but that's not the case with Burmese immigrants. In their country, they do not have their own vehicles, so they know nothing about the dangers, the potential dangers of carbon monoxide. Advocate and friend of the family, Laura Berger, believes the victims just didn't know. It's one of those things that unfortunately after the fact you realize this is something we should have warned them about. It's a warning even for Muda, who was also unaware. Proof her sister's death could now one day save someone else's life. The coroner has ruled both of those deaths as accidental. Imu Da's family plans to hold a special memorial for her on Thursday. I'm Janice Allen, News Channel 15.